The iPad keeps getting closer to a laptop year after year, and with iPadOS 16, it brings a bunch of new features to the iPad that makes it more a laptop-like experience. But let me tell you all the new features and changes inside of iPadOS 16. My favorite feature by far is Stage Manager, and it basically makes you have a really Mac experience. Usually with iOS, we have full screen apps, but now we basically have Windows, so same as the Mac, and we can grab new apps to those windows. So let's say you wanna have you know, your Safari and your notes, you know, you can have two different windows, and then you wanna bring files in there, and then you wanna resize them. It's a really weird experience at first. I've been trying out for a couple of days, and it actually works, and really well. Um, there's some people that likes it, there's some people that not. I personally like it, and you know, I also believe that we're only in beta one, and you know, once we get start rolling out with upcoming betas, this experience will get even better. So I'm really excited to see where the iPad goes. Stage Manager is incredible. The Notes app has also gotten some love. We now get new shapes. So if you're a big fan of taking notes on the iPad, these new shapes such as the arrow, the circle, the square is very useful when note taking. Also. Talking about notes, now with the Apple with the Apple Pencil, when you double tap, usually we could only double tap to the eraser tool and to the pencil tool, but now with iPadOS 16, instead of settings, you can actually change it to the color picker or whatever you want. There's so many different options now. I love using the color picker. So whenever I'm writing, I wanna change the color. I can simply double tap, change it to blue, keep writing, change it to red. It's very useful. Let me tell you something. The iPad now has a weather app. Can we please just take a minute to reflect on that? After years and years, we've been asking for a calculator app and a weather app. We did not get a calculator app, but still. Either way, we get a beautifully designed weather app on the iPad, which just simply works. Yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about the iPad app apart that it's a weather app on the iPad, which is great. Are you that type of person who has a bunch of the same photos in your library? That's personally me. Now with iPadOS 16, you can now merge photos. So you can go on the duplicates folder and you can start on merging photos. I'm somebody that has like the same photo like eight times. So this is a lifesaver for me. I'm just merging photos all day. Now, what I hated the most about the iPhone and the iPad is whenever you deleted a photo, it went to your recently deleted folder, which is great. But then if your friend got your phone, he could just simply go to your recently deleted folder, which nobody, you know, that's kind of private. And Apple knows that. Apple's great at privacy. And now if somebody wants to access that recently deleted folder, it will ask for face ID. Thank you, Apple. I want nobody going through my recently deleted photos. Something that iPad users have been asking for the longest time is monitor support. And that's exactly what's coming with iPadOS 16. Usually we always got these big black bars on the sides, which were very annoying and just destroyed the magic on, you know, using an iPad with a monitor. I've got a monitor coming in and I'm actually going to be making an entire dedicated video on monitor support and stage manager. How well does it actually work with monitor support? So far, reviewers, press, they've all said amazing things about it. So I'm very excited to actually check it out. But I just want to let you know that monitor support is here and I'm just so hype about it. The Files app has also gotten a lot of love. For example, now in the view options, you can actually show all the extensions. So you can actually see the file tab, PDF, PNG. You can see all of that same as the Mac. And also what's new talking about formats is you can also change the format of a file. So if you wanna change a file from JPEG to PNG, you can do that directly on the iPad. You don't need a Mac to do that anymore. And if you also hold on a specific file, you'll have quick action. So you'll be able to mark, rotate left, create a PDF, and even remove the background, which yes, that's a new iOS feature, which is also on iPad OS. You can now remove a background from an image. So those times that I've been wasting on Photoshop and Affinity Designer deleting the background of my photo, the iPad does that all automatically now. You simply hold on a specific image and drag it over to iMessage or directly from the Files app, as I just mentioned, and tap on Remove Background. Now, the saddest thing about iPadOS 16 is that on iOS 16 on the iPhone, we get these really sick new lock screens. And that's not available on the iPad, which is very sad. I wish the iPad would 
a dot. The big display that it actually has to put a bunch of widgets on the lock screen. So that's pretty much it for all of my favorite new features on iPad OS 16. Go ahead and tap these videos right here with all the announcements with iOS 16, watchOS, and all that good stuff. Also, you should probably subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.